O de Oviedo is O, as in Oscar. For the Egyptians, it represented an eye. It was the symbol of the sun, the thing that sees the entire world. It was the eye of the god Horus, created by Isis, that could travel independently around the world. Now the Greeks used O, and it went to Latin that way. But the Greeks needed two. They distinguished between the long and the short. The long was the omega, the big one, and the short was omicron, the little o. Now, the Romans did not import the new letter. They had two sounds for o, but only one sign, just as English does. We have bone. You see, that's a diphthong: bone and bob. And then the French came with the Norman conquest in 1066. We had U's that sound like O's. They wrote them with an O. Some uh, or, or or move. All of those are O sounds, but written with an O because of the, Fran- the, the, the French. Now in Spanish, the O in Roma is not the O in poco. It's completely different, but it sounds the same. Our O, O, the big O, is a diphthong. No, knowledge. Tone, tonic. Phone, phonetic. Solo, solitude. The symbol for the zero used to be very, very small, but it grew and grew and grew to resemble the O.